Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this eyeshadow. Requested by one of you guys, and I told you that I would have it up by next week, and here it is. Remember that products are always listed down below in the description box. Literally everything on my face is in the description box always during tutorials. So, yeah, in case I forgot to mention a product or you missed it or you want to know the exact name of it, um, it'll be down there including the brushes that I use. So. Make sure to check down there before asking any questions. So, yeah, here's the tutorial. So, first I am just going to put on my primer, like always. Then I'm going to put on a white base. Um, just mainly focusing that in the center of the lid and then just blend that out with my finger making sure it's just mostly staying in the middle because that's where the highlight is okay and for this tutorial um, we're going to be primarily using the revealed 2 palette from coastal scents this is supposed to be like a dupe for the Naked 3 palette, if you didn't know, that's what it looks like. So first, I'm just going to be using a regular fluffy brush like this, and then I'm going to be using this color right here. None of these colors have names, but just this color right here. It's just kind of like a dark, mauvey brown type color, like a rosy brown. And I'm just putting that in the crease. This is like our main crease color. And then I'm going to put that in the inner crease also, which I do not normally like ever do but I think it looks really cool with that pop of highlight in the middle I just I love it so just keep blending that it's okay if it goes on the white um, we just want that white in the middle mostly like I said And make sure that if you have a hooded eyelid like me, that when your eyes are just like normal, that you can still see that color. Like when your eyes aren't open wide like this, when they're just normal like this, you can still see it. Okay, then I'm just going to blend out the crease up into the highlight with this color right here. It's just like a really light matte pink. And then while I still have this brush, I'm just going to do the lower lash line. And I actually used this, is that the right one? This one. Um, it's more like a fuchsia color, but on camera it's looking more of like a light smoky purple. But it's actually like a kind of a medium shimmery fuchsia shade. So I'm just putting that on the lower lash line. And then I'm taking that and then this color, which is like a matte rosy gray. It's like a lighter version of this. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that and sweep that on the lower lash line just to kind of smoke that out a bit so it's not so harsh. Okay, then we're done with that brush. Then I'm just going to take more of like a pointy 
a fluffy brush so that I can get right in there and get um, more of a precise kind of crease. So then I am just taking that maroon shade. It's like a dark reddish brownish purple. Just taking a little bit of that just on the tip and then I'm just kind of defining the crease with that. I'm not bringing it too high up but I am making sure that it's blending with that color that I put down previously and then also blending it downwards because with this look there really is no harsh lines. And then do the same in the inner part. And just keep building up that color to however dark or however light you want it. I really like how this look has just a really defined crease. I think it just helps that middle highlight pop a lot more. Okay, then you could just leave it like that, um, but I like to define it just a little bit more with, eh, with this dark shimmery purple, just a tiny bit. And just right in the crease, not really blending that out too much, but I just really like how defined it makes the crease. It's just so pretty. Okay, done with that palette. You can skip this step, you could stop after this step. I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow in always pearly pink. Just looks like this. And I'm just taking a little bit of that on my ring finger and kind of just putting that over that white spot in the middle. Now you could leave it like that. Uh, I just choose to highlight it a little bit more than that, but you could totally stop there. Okay, so then I'm taking this Glamour Doll Eyes eyeshadow that I use in literally every tutorial in Electric Chair. It's just the most shimmery white eyeshadow in the world. And I'm just putting that in the middle lightly. It just looks so pretty. You can make that as sheer or as pigmented as you want for that highlight. And then I'm just putting it in the inner corner of the lower lash line, like always. Which again, you can skip that step. But I just. Okay, now I'm just going to do my winged liner like normal and curl my lashes, put on a little bit of mascara, and then I will be right back. And for lips, I kind of did the same concept on my lips that I did on my eyes. It's kind of like an ombre, like middle highlight thing. So for the corners, I used Revlon Sassy Mauve just looks like this on the corners and then like right here I used Revlon Pink Pout which just looks like that and then in the middle I used Maybelline Bare All which is just the nudist nude you can find in the drugstore and then I just kind of blended it together like just kind of blended it together with my lips and I really like it I think it's pretty and it goes good with the eyes I think kind of like not matching but similar tones so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time bye